Hi guys, today I'm reviewing the Oster Waffle Maker. It's nine and a half inches long, seven and a half inches wide, and about three and a half inches in height. The housing is stainless steel. The interior is nonstick. When you first get the machine, clean the plates with a damp cloth and a little bit of soap. Rinse off with another damp cloth and dry. Before making your first waffle, rub the plates with a little bit of oil. You don't have to rub oil every time you make a waffle, just when you need to if you notice that the waffles are starting to stick. There's a power on light, and the green light goes on when the waffle iron is ready to make a waffle. This is the temperature control dial, and the setting ranges from minimum to maximum for light waffles up to dark waffles. The unit is small and doesn't take up that much counter space. Let's go ahead and test out the waffle maker. We'll plug the unit in. The red light is on. The green light is also on when the dial is on off. I'll turn the dial to the middle and wait for the light to turn green. The green lights come on and we're ready to make a waffle. The steel part is very hot, so just use the stay cool handles. On the low setting, the waffle should take about five minutes to bake. On the medium setting, four and a half minutes, and four minutes on the high setting. That's about three quarters of a cup. Close the lid, and we'll wait for about four and a half minutes. The green light may go on and off during cooking, and that's normal. You can see the waffle is rising and there's a lot of steam coming out of the unit. Usually when you stop seeing steam is when you know that the waffle is done. It's been about four and a half minutes, there's hardly any steam left, so we'll see if our waffle is ready. There we go, it looks like it's cooked. It's best to use a non-stick utensil to get the waffle out. I like to just use my hands. Hot. Here is the waffle. The waffle is pretty even. There's a little white patch here and around the edges on the other side, but this side is even. It's not a thick waffle, it's pretty thin. Let's see. It sounds like it's a little bit crispy. The inside looks soft and cooked. I'm just going to taste it. It is lightly crispy and is cooked on the outside. It's pretty good. So the medium setting works really well. Waffles should be about this color. Obviously, if you want it lighter than this, you could um, turn it down to the minimum or between the minimum and the middle. After you make one waffle, close the cover and wait for the unit to heat up again. The green light is on so I can go ahead and make another waffle. There is no timer on the unit, so you'll have to set your own timer. I guess I poured a little bit too much and it's coming out the sides. That will happen if you put too much batter. Just take this off. It's not bad though, it's just a little bit. Let's check the other side. The other side's not bad, there's no leaking. The lid is wobbly like with most waffle makers and you can just wiggle the lid a little bit after you pour the batter and that should even out the batter a little. Let's see if the waffle's done. This is after five minutes since I put a little bit of extra batter. You can see it's cooked and golden brown. Another nice crispy waffle. Hot. Before cleaning, unplug the waffle maker and make sure it's cool. The grids can be cleaned with a damp sponge or cloth with hot soapy water. Rinse with another damp cloth and dry it. The unit does take about four and a half minutes to cook a waffle. The Presto that I reviewed a couple of weeks ago took about three minutes. But that Presto also costs about 15 or $20 more than this Oster. 
Again, this is not a thick waffle like the Presto waffle maker that I reviewed a couple of weeks back. That makes a super thick waffle. This is a thinner waffle, but it's still crispy and it's cooked nicely. So it really depends on your preference as to a waffle maker. If you want a thicker one, then I would suggest the Presto I reviewed a couple of weeks ago. If you like thinner waffles, then this Oster would work for you. I'll put the links to both in the description below. At this low price point, the Oster is a pretty decent value. I hope this review was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.